everything you see here is built by Pax8, but we're building pieces of the platform that we know our partners are asking for and delivering uh, as much value as we can to our partners. Yeah, so here we have our, our brand new homepage for the new marketplace experience. Um, on this homepage, we want to float to the top all the stuff that's the most important to our partners. Academy was one of our big focuses and learning for our partners. So a lot of the Academy on this front page here, uh, and then, you know, pieces from the catalog that we have rebuilt as well. So browsing different products um, and exploring different vendors as well on this homepage. So that's really our revamped homepage that is built for focusing more on what the partners want to see uh, first and foremost. So this is our, our rebuilt and revamped uh, partner client page. So this page lists out all the clients that each partner has underneath them that they're controlling. So again, some like high level stats here, the total active subscriptions you have as a partner, your, your client trends, so like new or uh, decreasing clients. We have the new ability to uh, pin and unpin favorites, um, search and then sort as well working here so you can sort through this pretty easily. We also have list views uh, for each of these each of these pages uh, if you want to go into a more like detailed list view instead of those those card views. The catalog has been revamped quite a bit. So we give a, an update to how the catalog looks. We have a lot of new filters in the catalog as well. So some Pax8 recommendations here, search feature here, maybe like a proof point. So vendors should come up as well. We have the, all the, the regular data we had previously. So the key details, the descriptions, benefits and features. If we are talking about promoting certain products to each client, I think the, the biggest uh, selling point here is storefronts. Storefronts is where we allow partners to curate their own collection of their solutions, their products, uh, the subscriptions that they offer and publish those in a storefront that their self-service clients can access. Here at the top here, we have some like very high level metrics. Uh, so total views um, of all your storefronts aggregated at the top, the total amount of clicks. So like actual product engagements that your clients are, uh, are using through your storefronts. And then the total amount of the products that you have published throughout your storefronts. If we go into edit the storefront, we go into kind of the drag and drop uh, storefront editor. So this is where uh, partners can customize each of these storefronts. So just the title of the storefront itself, a little bit of detail, and then some different product sections and um, the ability to replace products actually here um, on each of these. You can also kind of partners can click and drag to reorganize the products uh, where they want them to be. Uh, and then when you're all done and you have everything here in your storefront, you just click that publish. It'll tell you what you're publishing, who you're publishing that to, click publish, and then um, those self-service clients will be able to log into their self-service portal uh, and hit this storefront as well. If you wanna see a detail as a partner of what that storefront looks like, we have a preview button here, and that will open this storefront as the, the clients will see them. Uh, so this is what like the front of the storefront looks like once the client logs in. Next, we have like My Solutions. So My Solutions is allowing partners to sell products the way they sell them a lot of the times. So creating a solution will let you to uh, let a partner go through and choose a bunch of different products to add to a solution. Um, create some, uh, pick the commitment terms for each of those pieces, like categories, add some description to the details, um, upload logos, set their price eventually. Um, these are all things that, you know, partners generally do uh, within uh, different pieces of software like their PSA tools. And now we want to provide that to them uh, directly in, uh, in Pax8, uh, the application built for them themselves. So quotes also, you know, we, we all kind of have an idea of like what quotes should be, and there's a lot of different ways to do it, but uh, we wanted to really get down to rebuilding uh, Pax8 quoting in general, being able to create a quote, um, publish a quote to that same self-service portal. So uh, self-service clients can accept or decline those quotes. You can create all the, uh, set all the important criteria. So effective dates, billing terms, commitment terms, if there are some quantity prices, all of that you can add. If you share a quote and, and your client has access to the self-service portal already, you'll receive a pop-up that says uh, the quote is shareable in that self-service portal. 